Have you been looking for the perfect wines for your upcoming wedding? Maybe you're looking for a classic elegant red and white that pair well with your menu, or need a little bit more variety for your beverage station. You could be wondering how many bottles of sparkling you need for your champagne toast. So if those have been questions you've been asking, you've come to the right place. I'm Lo Kailani and my team and I help customize shipments that include everyday drinking wines to specialty events like weddings. And it'd be our pleasure to help you find the perfect wines for your special day. Today, I'm actually going to introduce six wines handcrafted by independent winemakers, all lovingly made with a special story behind it. And I look forward to sharing that with you now. The first wine we're going to chat about today is the Miriam Rosé of Primitivo by winemaker Alex Farber. Primitivo is the Italian word often known as Zinfandel, and Zinfandel is often crafted into rich reds, but it's also a favorite grape for making rosé, otherwise known as white Zinfandel. In fact, Alex worked with grapes grown in a sustainably farmed vineyard in the rolling hillsides of Northern California's Lodi Appalachian. This particular clone of Zinfandel originated from Italy, which has now made its home here in California, with Alex being able to make delicious wines for us to enjoy. I'm going to pour myself a glass while we talk about this wine. Um, and just to start off with, um, I'd like to show you the color. So showed the photo of the color in, in the bottle, but this is what it looks like in the glass. And let's bring this up. You can kind of see those tones. Um, it's like a very um, beautiful sunset rose, maybe golden peach color. Very, very pretty. Alex's great-grandmother Miriam was also a wonderful artist, and I love how Alex weaves her heritage and artistry in crafting wine and label art. Mm. And then the fragrance, it's like a, this kaleidoscope of fresh fruit. So I'm personally getting dried apricots, little white peach, um, raspberries, Mm, strawberries, kind of like them. Um, if you've ever made the homemade strawberry ice cream, um, when you take that, those fresh strawberries and um, mash them up or get them ready for your ice cream, this is kind of what it reminds me of. Mm. A fascinating part of winemaking is how wine made of grapes can capture fragrance and flavor reminiscent of so many other wonderful things. And with Alex's delightful wine, I personally pick up strawberry, raspberry, peach, and apricot with subtle hint of pomelo or, or crisp grapefruit notes. This is a lovely off-dry rosé with refreshing acidity. This is not a wispy rosé. This has a um, more saturated flavors. So while it's quite delicate, I would pair this with seafood, with salads, maybe bruschetta, homemade pizzas. If you're doing cheese trays, this would work magnificently. Next up is the Eponina. And typically I do like to try my sparkling first, but... Before I let these bubbles escape the bottle, I wanted to share some highlights about the artist and his wine. Award-winning expert sparkling winemaker, Wayne Donaldson, the former head winemaker responsible for Domaine Chandon's bubbly, has been handcrafting exquisite sparkling wine for many years. And here at Naked Wines, he crafts a delectable array. This particular wine is his Eponina Brut Rosé. This elegant sparkling wine is a blend of 80% Chardonnay and 20% Pinot Noir from fruit grown in premium cold climate vineyards in California. So I have my bottle of Eponine Rosé that we're going to open together. And I have a very special place in my heart for all of Wayne Sparkling, um, but particularly his Eponina range. Um, the name uh, was inspired um, uh, like a namesake for his daughter's love of horses. Wayne once shared his winemaking philosophy 
emphasizing the significance of paying attention to the details. He highlights the virtue of the grapes in winemaking and describes how he enjoys harvesting from the land and then transforming it into something that brings mystery and enjoyment to others. And boy oh boy, does he accomplish that! Look at that lovely color. Just those delicate colors and those dancing bubbles in the glass. Just like um yeah, they look like liquid diamonds. So beautiful. Oh, fragrance is lovely too. It's like um delicate strawberries and watermelon. Similar to the fragrance. I'm picking up notes, wild strawberries, ripened raspberries, watermelon, with hints of brioche. This is a brute, so it is a drier, sparkling wine, but has loads of fruit flavors. I would pair this with sushi, and even Wayne suggests pairing this with honey glazed pork loin, but this is equally festive and a delight on its own. Next on our list, is winemaker David Akiyoshi's Reserve Lodi Chardonnay. David was the director of winemaking for Robert Mondavi's Woodbridge for 25 years. With his depth of knowledge and expertise, he crafted this classic Chardonnay. He worked with fruit grown in two special but very different vineyards. David described the first vineyard producing Chardonnay grapes that would make for a rich, ripe, and full-bodied style of wine. The fruit of the second vineyard was better suited for crafting a brighter, cheerful, crisp, and refreshing style of Chardonnay. By meticulously blending grapes from these two vineyards, David crafted the style of wine he envisioned, which is now available for us to savor. He's also a master in winemaking technique called surliaging, in which the wine ages with the yeast that fermented it. This traditional technique refines the wine, adds richness, depth, and complexity to its fragrance, flavor, and drinkability. David also integrated some oak aging, which would complement, and he says marry, the exquisite fruit profile to masterfully craft what he describes as a more interesting and intriguing wine. So I love this bottle like I think that the presentation is just beautiful with its shades of olive green and gold this would be perfect for a woodland or nature themed wedding this gorgeous bottle would also be stunning if you plan to keep a white wine option available to adorn your guest tables or at your beverage station and then I love all the it, not just the label art in these bottles but also the corks, like every cork has its own little artistic signature piece on it, like the winemaker with their name even on the cork. So yeah, when you open up a bottle here at Naked Wines, like you really want to take your time to um, look at your bottle, look at those lovely little nuances and um, download the app. Now you can read more about the wine, you can rate it, you can leave, you can chat directly with the winemakers. Okay, and I love, I love that sound. Because you always know that you have something amazing to drink. So I'm going to pour myself a glass. So, um, let me just show you the color real fast. So a little bit more of a golden, golden hue mm -hmm. and pretty fragrance. A lot of, I'm personally getting um, a lot of stone fruit, like ripe stone fruit. And juicy nectarines and white peaches is what sort of jumping out, out at me. And some vanilla. So I'll give it a taste. Mm. This is delightful. I can understand why David really um, took care in crafting this wine, showcasing the fruit from two completely different vineyards. This is 
really a balance and a, and a harmony between the two styles. So there's a richness that's coming out of this wine from some of the surly age and some of the oak aging on this. There's still a, a crisp, um, still crisp and refreshing. So I would, um, someone who loves some more classic style of California Chardonnay, I think they'd really appreciate this. But when you're having um, entertaining and you have mixed preferences, like I think this would be enjoyed by many. This classic white can pair with a wide range of meals. I'd enjoy with chicken, lobster and shellfish, tomato-based pastas. Really, the list is endless. And of course, this is just fabulous on its own. Our next wine is the Rob McNeil Russian River Valley Brut. Rob has created sophisticated sparkling wines for esteemed wineries like Schwamsburg and Mom Napa. And at the illustrious Mom Napa, Rob served as the director of winemaking for 15 years, where he enhanced exceptional vintages, later to become the VP of winemaking and operations. With his extensive knowledge, Rob has now crafted this luxurious sparkling wine with his name on the label. Rob's sparkling wine is a true masterpiece, skillfully crafted with a blend of Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and a touch of Pinot Meunier. Rob has meticulously selected special vineyards, making this blend a genuine work of art. The Russian River in Northern California, Sonoma County is renowned for its breathtaking natural beauty and wonder. As the Russian River spills into the Pacific Ocean, it creates a mesmerizing and enchanting landscape. Amidst this picturesque setting, lush vineyards flourish, yielding exquisite fruit, perfect for crafting a sparkling wine. So I have my bottle of Rob McNeil's Russian River Valley Sparkling, and um, I love the crest. With its old world elegance and label design, it feels regal with a sense of luxury and tradition. And with a refined, almost pale straw color in the glass, with ultra fine bubbles that just twinkle like stars. I'm getting some crisp green and golden apple, pear and citrus fragrance, like soft Meyer lemon and a little vanilla. And with tasting notes of the same crisp apples, almost lemon lime on the palate, and a layered background notes of the vanilla, but also like baked bread flavors. And with these tiny bubbles, it almost feels like a texture of meringue cream on the palate and has just graceful finesse. I love sparkling wine as I find it pairs with almost everything. Winemaker Rob McNeil shared how he enjoys this with oysters, savory or saltier appetizers where ingredients like prosciutto or sun-dried tomatoes are featured. This would be great too with sushi, milder cheeses, poached fish, and of course, it's perfect just to celebrate with. If you're considering how much sparkling wine you should have on hand to prepare for your toast, I typically prepare a standard 750 milliliter bottle of wine to serve four to five glasses of wine, depending on the pour amounts. But for sparkling wine, especially for wedding toast, it's typically recommended to plan one bottle serving eight glasses, as usually half glasses are used. Of course, every wedding is unique, so consider whether sparkling wine will be offered as a beverage option. And of course, if you have questions or need recommendations, please feel welcome to reach out to our team of wine advisors here at Naked Wines. With winemaker Chris Baker's wanderlust and appreciation for travel and wine, he described falling into his future career as a winemaker. Settling into the Oregon winemaking scene, he crafts expressive wines like this Chris Baker Yamhill Carlton Willamette Valley Pinot Noir from those bucolic and treasured storybook vineyards. So I am going to pour myself a glass of this luxurious wine and I'm gonna show you the color. So with its ruby color and a translucency that shimmers in the glass. Mm. For me, 
Um, I am also, I'm getting bean cherry. It is pretty fruit, fruit forward. But there is still um, this wonderful forest floor fragrance back note. Silky smooth. Very mellow integrated tannins. If you have a guest or you enjoy um, a really nice red that's not overpowering, just something that dances and sort of lingers on your palate, but not too robust or overwhelming. This is beautiful. This is like a nuanced grease. With flavor notes including a captivating medley, a sun ripened cherry, mellow raspberry, and subtle cranberry notes, along with a touch of savory spice, its understated elegance can be enjoyed on its own, but would pair well with honey glazed roasted turnips and carrots, or even heartier fare like barbecue pulled pork. My name is Matt Parrish, and I'm a winemaker for NakedWines.com. Our last bottle in today's lineup is winemaker Matt Parrish's Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. Matt, a legend in the industry, has an extensive career, having overseen the winemaking of acclaimed wine brands like Behringer and Stag's Leap Winery. His profound understanding of terroir, or how a vineyard's surroundings and environment will influence the unique nature of every wine, is a testament to his expertise and commitment to excellence. His mastery of oak aging techniques further enhances the outstanding wine he creates, showcasing his passion for enigmatic wines in every vintage. So I have a glass of hands and an unopened bottle of Matt Parrish's um, about the cab. I do like to decant my wine, um, but I enjoy tasting the wine right after it opens, at least if you're having um, a party or you have friends that are getting together. Sometimes you're just in the mood for a great red and it's so nice to find that bottle that just tastes great right after you open it and then it just gets better as it has more air time so i like to taste it right after i open it my glass handy okay so unlike pinot noir cabernet sauvignon from the napa valley tends to have a lot more saturated color and you can definitely see that it's like liquid velvet like a purple liquid velvet Lovely. I'm not very dense. I love to bake. I love to cook and bake. Um, and we have this recipe from, it's a vintage recipe from the 1940s of this three layer chocolate fudge cake. And it's just like intense chocolate. I mean, that's just, get so much cocoa and chocolate right out of the glass and deep black cherries this is like luxury oh yeah this is gonna get better i've had so many of these bottles this will be amazing in 20 minutes especially if it's decanted it's perfect now. So yeah, if you were having friends come together, or having a bridal shower and needed something rich and luxurious, you could open this and enjoy it right away. But it's a pair up um, to heavier fare. So I would definitely match this if I were doing beef wellington or um, ribeye or doing like um, really luxurious meals. It could be, um, a steak with Bernie sauce. And this would be great. Beautiful wine. Each of these wines shared today was handcrafted in small batch boutique production. If you'd like to try these wines while in stock, please find the link in the description box below. And of course, 
Our team of wine advisors here at Naked Wines is available to help customize your special wine tasting box or guide you if you have questions, needing wine recommendations for your own upcoming wedding celebrations or events. We're always glad to help.